Greetings everyone and welcome to Ville View. I'm Christy Fulkerson. Coming up, we'll take a look at the first ever Miss Millersville competition from every angle, including a backstage look at the preparations and the big show. Stay tuned, because this is Ville View. <laughs> And the winner of Miss Millersville 2007 is... Bellevue is at the Miss Millersville competition, taking you behind the scenes and sitting down with the first ever winner. Happy birthday, Dr. Seuss. Millersville University celebrated the annual Read Across America event, and our own Dr. Bill Dorman read some of the classics to local school children. And Bellevue goes to the interview corner. Our own Chris Volsky sat down with Dr. Rita smith Waydell to discuss the annual Hazel I. Jackson Lecture Series. All of this and more on this edition of Bellevue. The idea of Miss Millersville began in November. It started as a fundraiser not only from UTV, but for every participant involved in the competition. It turned out to be a huge event and a great success, one that brought us some media attention as well. I, along with Tom Gorman, were the MCs for the event. The Villeview cameras were there several hours before the show, and that's where we will kick off our look at Miss Millersville 2007. We need to go to Hash and get some extra equipment and print out some more things from the computer. So come on, follow me. It's, I feel like I'm on a reality show. I think that's the point. Except if I take off my coat, then my microphone's in my pocket, so I won't be able to follow me anymore. You can park right here. Just, yeah, just I'm aware. Hold on to your hats. <laughs> I don't think that's All right. And thinking and praying, planning and dreaming. I don't know the rest of the words, but I like to sing. That's how I ease my nerves, Brett. You getting us on tape? Why? <laughs> you would. The whole. Why was this open? Yeah. It's a question of the year. Did you get? Did you get a Mark's adapter? Did you get the power cord? Okay. Did, I think the power cord's in there. In here. Yeah. You just need a power cord. Like this? Yep, that's <laughs> Maybe. Are you okay? <laughs> you. <laughs> mm. Okay. I'll get it. Taking is too easy. That's the way it now here's a story from A to Z. You want to get with me, you got to listen to Believe. You got M in the face who likes it in the face. You like G and C. Like easy B doesn't come for free. She's a real lady. And as for me, uh, you'll see. Okay. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm Liz. I'm, I'm Christy. CBS nice to meet you. You're the person in charge, yes. huh? Is it okay Same. if we go grab our stuff and then do sure. an interview? Do you have sure. time? Mm -hmm. okay. Yep. I know you're busy. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, whenever the judges are done, we'll say, okay, they've made their decision, everyone take a seat. Mm -hmm. And then the judges will come in, and then we'll say, finally, it's time for our closing ceremony. The music for this portion will be our very own alma mater, played by Matt Fraser. Mm -hmm. Well, we came up with the idea last semester, early last semester, as a fundraiser. Instead of, you know, selling t-shirts or selling candy bars like most, you know, organizations have done and we did in the past, we thought we'd do something more fun and entertaining for the student body. And it's a good way to involve all the other organizations because all of the girls that are participating are representing another organization in which they're trying to raise money for, too. And how many girls are going to be competing? There's 12 contestants. And is it being called a pageant? No, it is the Miss Millersville competition. I kind of want to practice a little because yesterday, when we were about to come out, I really had no idea what we were supposed to talk about because I forgot to read the script. Because so basically, when he announces us, you're gonna be the first one to talk. Okay. Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming. Just let me get the gist. Thank you for coming. We hope you're excited as we are for the first annual Miss Millersville competition. We'll start by explaining how tonight is going to go. As many of you know, tonight is a fundraiser from UTV, but also for all of the contestants. Um, for the judges. No, actually, right in the front. 
you going to be selling tickets to the door that Allison and Amanda sing, right? And you're going to be back here. What are, are these? What are these from? You got the balloons and made all those? I didn't make the balloons, but I did this today. Oh my gosh, it looks so pretty. I know, I don't like the red. But yeah, there's going to be the red, white, and the blue, 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 and I know, but okay, okay. Come out in whatever order they lined up in normally, but that's the order they're asking the questions. Okay, so I think they're going to come out one through six. Which I, makes sense. That okay. is fine. Okay. Tell them to be prepared for anything. If they hear their number, they better do what they're told to do. Um, okay, these are finally done. Okay. Can I borrow your pen again? Yes, you may. I should have really brought one. Uh oh. Why should I always be prepared? Do we have a bowl? For the questions. Did the controversies helped out at all with the, the event? Absolutely has helped out. I've been I had two interviews with Fox 43, Fox 43 today, CBS 21 today. Yeah. I mean, you called me last week. Mm -hmm. We've had about three times more publicity than we ever would have had. Mm -hmm. I mean, granted, the amount of people that are coming are from, you know, probably the, the participants' friends and that kind of stuff, but mm -hmm. everyone knows about it because of they've gone to every media outlet and really no publicity is bad, so. Yeah. All right, it's time to get down to business. It was nice hanging out with you, but it's time to Miss Miller's Bill It Up. The event was held in a sold-out Student Memorial Center's multi-purpose room, and the 12 lovely ladies competing for the crown put on a memorable show. In the end, it was the girl from the Helping Paws organization that came out on top. The winner of Miss Millersville 2007, whose organization will receive 20% of the event's profits, representing Helping Paws, Brenna Williams. Congratulations to Brenda Williams for being the first annual Miss Millersville 2007, and congratulations to all our contestants. That's right, the winner of Miss Millersville 2007 was Brenna Williams, who is representing the Helping Paws organization. And tonight, Brenna's joining us in studio. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Take us back to the night of the competition. How nervous were you? I wasn't that nervous, to be honest. I was a little bit nervous right before we started, but prior to that, I really wasn't that bad. I think just because all the girls were so nice and it really didn't feel so much like a competition as just us having fun, so. And your talent performance of the evening was belly dancing, which That's was nice. a routine that was choreographed by your mother. What was the significance of that dance for you? My mom, being my choreographer, was the really important part. Uh, I really love to belly dance, and that's all for my mom. She was a professional belly dancer probably before I was born and went through when my sister was born. My sister's a little bit older than me. Uh, she makes all of her own costumes. She made my costume for that evening. Actually, my skirt was her, part of her old costume, and then she made the top specially for me. So it has a lot of significance because it's, it's really important in my family, I think. It, she was very involved in belly dancing and being a professional belly dancer and teaching belly dancing when her and my father first got married. So I think it's just really important because it's just kind of this family tradition. And, and she told me I had talent, so <laughs> I decided that that was going to be my talent and, and try to do that and keep on the family tradition. That's interesting because it's not a type of talent that you see very often, and it is a, a Middle East dance, so, I mean, there's no relevance to that for you guys. It's just like a fun activity. Right. It's it's more fun. We are not Arabic. Uh, my mom's Hungarian, actually. So it's it's more of a, it's it's really good for you. It's really healthy. It's something that's really great uh, cardio and it's really good for your hips and everything like that. It's great dance. Um, a lot of people do it now, actually, as a workout. But more for me, it's more of a fun dance, and it's more of something that I do that I know that's a little bit different and it's a little bit off kilter, but at the same time, I kind of like that about it. I, I love that it's something that people don't see every day.